And hello again, welcome to bulletin number three uh, for May the 28th, 2013. As you can see, the world tropics out there are warming up slightly with Invest 92E now with a high chance of formation near the Mexican coastline. We also have a few other Invest still out there at the moment. Invest 90C, 91E, 95A and 94B as well as 92E which we're watching at the moment. So let's go into the satellite imagery of the Pacific Ocean. You can see the three Invests out in the Pacific at the moment. The West Pacific still quiet at the moment, at this moment in time. Um, but the Eastern Pacific and the Central Pacific still going with 90C in the central part. Um, not much of it, as has been the case for quite a while, but of course 91 and 92E out in the Eastern Pacific. Moving ever so slightly west at both of them. Um, in the Atlantic, you can see Invest 92E there to, off to the left near the Mexican coastline. But in the Atlantic itself, things are quiet at the moment still. Not much in the way of cloud going on, not much in the way of tropical development expected. And in the Indian Ocean we have two Invest 95A near the coast of Oman, which is still not likely to develop, and 94B, which is out in the Bay of Bengal, not too far from the Indian coast, and that's uh, not likely to form in the next 48 hours at least. So let's look at the current sea surface temperatures then, and the warmest waters in the world possibly are out near the um, Mexico and Guatemala region, of the coastline there with 32 degree plus waters near the coast. Um, elsewhere in the Atlantic still fairly warm 28 degrees in the tropical regions and in the Indian Ocean very warm waters here as well 30 degrees or higher in the Arabian Sea and parts of the Bay of Bengal and out in the western Pacific warm waters here as well in the South China Sea into um, the Philippine region. So let's look at Invest 92E then, uh, with wind speeds at the moment of 35 miles per hour and an 80% chance of formation at the moment from the National Hogan Centre. That means it may well have formed into a tropical depression by morning, but for now it remains 80% chance and it is um, possibly going to move into the Mexican coast. Um, nonetheless, it will probably cause heavy rains in Mexico. And here's Invest 91E as well, currently with wind speeds of 25 miles per hour and a pressure of 1,009 millibars, with now a 10% chance of formation over the next 48 hours. And the storm is still likely, to, according to the models, to curve towards the northeast of the next few days towards the Mexican coast, but uh, probably not reaching it before dissipates. So let's look at the floater satellite imagery first of all of Invest 91E. You can see it here, moving in a westward direction, perhaps west-southwest at the moment out in the eastern Pacific and as it said on the forecast the storm is likely to curve towards the north and then perhaps towards the northeast before uh, weakening and uh, perhaps dissipating very soon. Um, we have Invest 92E here of course this is the one that has an 80% chance of development at the moment and is likely to at least affect the coast of Mexico if not make landfall on the Mexican coastline over the next few days and of course the heavy rains may cause some flooding in some areas so this is one to watch out for at the moment and we have Invest 94B which is still out in the Bay of Bengal and um, it's trying to form I think a low chance of development on this one at the moment but um, if any development does occur and if it becomes a tropical cyclone it will probably be very short-lived due to the close proximity to land that it has at the moment with it being near the Indian Bangladeshi and uh, Myanmar coast. So let's look at the models at the moment. The CMC here within the blue circle is the bit we're interested in at the moment because nothing else is going on. It seems to show Invest 91 developing a little bit and another system forming in between Invest 92 and Invest 91E um, and not developing Invest 92 at all. Uh, we have the ECMWF here which um, develops Invest 92E slightly and curves it towards the northeast um, which means a landfall close to the uh, Guatemala border and the GFS model here shows Invest 92 forming and making landfall along the Mexican coastline there. As you can see it's possibly probably a weak system, weak tropical storm perhaps. And the nav gem shows a weak system moving into the Mexican coastline as well. Doesn't really fancy Invest 92E to develop that much. Um, so let's move on to the um, interesting GFDL model at the moment which has um, Invest 92E making landfall in Mexico and then making it into the Atlantic and perhaps reforming as a tropical storm before a possible landfall near the Mexican and Texas border. And the HWRF um, develops Invest 92E perhaps into a brief short-lived tropical storm that makes landfall in Mexico um, and may have it develop towards hurricane status, maybe not quite, but it'll be interesting to see what does occur over the next few days. So let's look at the overall predictor season scores as of May the 28th, 2013. Ken still leads away with 113 points, Typhoon Bowman and Theo tied 
for second place with 106 points at the moment. Um, and of course it's still very early stages, so some people would have much more points than others, that's because they probably predicted a lot of zeros. Um, but of course you can just predict for one basin if you want, um, because also on the website we have um, leaderboards by each area. So it's not an overall leaderboard, it's actually um, different areas which um, is certainly interesting to see. So let's look on this day, on May the 28th, a few things happened on this day. In 1984, Tropical Storm Boris formed in the Eastern Pacific. In 1986, Hurricane Agatha dissipated. In 2000, Hurricane Aletta dissipated in the Eastern Pacific. In 2001, Hurricane Adolf peaked as a Category 4 storm in the Eastern Pacific. In 2009, Tropical Depression 1 formed off the coast of North Carolina. And in 2012, Tropical Storm Beryl made landfall near Jacksonville Beach, Florida. It's a 65 mile per hour storm. And with just four days to go until the Atlantic hurricane season starts officially, and of course the Eastern Pacific has already begun, visit the Force 13 website forward slash storm tracking to track all the storms as they occur uh, with warning information and everything that you need um, to stay safe out there in the path of the storms throughout the 2013 hurricane season. I'll be back with another bulletin tomorrow, May 29th. Until then, see you for now.